With those protections expiring, experts fear a major spike in evictions. Here in San Diego, the eviction moratorium remains in effect through September. But as you can imagine, many renters worry about what happens after it ends. News 8's Kelly Hessedal spoke to a mother in Imperial Beach who fears her family could end up homeless. Well, this week, the city council will consider a proposal to extend the deadline for renters to pay back rent until next year. Now, this as families worry about the future. What hurts more is do I have to tell my kids we're going to be homeless and we're going to live out of a van? Because I don't want to do that. I'm not going to fail as a mother. Patricia Mendoza is a single mother of two who lives in Imperial Beach. In April, she was laid off from the job she loved, transporting patients to and from nursing homes and hospitals. She stopped paying rent because she couldn't afford it. It's been a struggle because I'd have, I had to choose food before rent. She applied for unemployment as soon as she was laid off, but didn't start collecting it until the end of May. I'm getting harassed by my property manager, and it's not fair. It's not something that I caused, you know, I, it's not something that that I want to happen. A staggering 19 to 23 million Americans are at risk of eviction by September, according to a study by the Aspen Institute. And the majority of those impacted low income renters and people of color. In Imperial Beach, the moratorium that protects renters from evictions lasts through September. It's the same in San Diego. But Council President Georgette Gomez says it needs to be extended longer. I do not see us coming out of this by September 30th. Um, so I do foresee another extension and I only hope that my colleagues see the importance of it. This week she will introduce a proposal that extends the deadline to pay back rent until March of next year. We need to act right now. This is when leadership matters the most. But some property owners argue a freeze on evictions costs them dearly and letting months of rent add up isn't the solution. Mendoza says she's worried about all of it. Where is this going to go when 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 the moratorium lifts, that's my fear. With no job, no income, yeah. what am I supposed to do? When I see those commercials that say we're in it together, oh. it doesn't include me and my family, and that hurts. And on top of all of that, Mendoza says she has asthma, so she worries about going back to work and getting infected with coronavirus. She says if that happens, who will take care of her children?